Hey guys, today I'm going to show you 10 advanced Google form tips and tricks. So let's get into it. At number one, we have insert multiple sections or pages. So Google forms allows you to break up long forms into multiple sections. To do this, you'd need to click on this icon. And as you can see, this will add another section to the bottom of the page. So we have section one and we have section two here at the bottom. And it's also possible to name your sections. So as an example, I'm just going to call this section two. You can then add your questions to your section by clicking on this plus icon on the right hand side. So as we can see, a new question was added to our section and we can repeat this step multiple times to add multiple questions. The second tip is to convert your form into a quiz that could be graded automatically. To do this, you'd need to click on settings at the top and turn on make this a quiz. And that should reveal a number of options at the bottom that you can use to customize your quiz. You can also use a quiz template. So for example, you can go to the template gallery and select a blank quiz or assessment template. So here's an example of that template. And as you can see, if I go in settings, it's already been converted into a quiz. Tip number four is selecting a response destination. So in Google Forms, you can choose where to save your responses. Your responses could be saved in a Google Sheet or you can keep it in the form itself. So you can click on responses and click on this Google Sheets icon to create a spreadsheet with the responses. So you have the option to either create a new spreadsheet or you can select an existing spreadsheet by choosing the second option. So as an example, I'm going to use the first option, then click on create. And now we can see the spreadsheet that will be used for the forms responses. You can also click on these three dots, then select select response destination. Doing this will open up a modal with the same options. This time, if we use the second option, you will be able to select a spreadsheet to collect your forms responses. In our next tip, we'll show you how to receive email notifications. And I won't recommend this if you are going to be receiving a lot of responses. But if you want to turn on email notifications, you'll just need to click on the three dots at the top, then click on get email notifications for new responses. So we are moving on to tip number five, which is add conditional logic. You may not want every single question to be answered. You may want to jump to another section or question based on the response to another question. So we have two sections here, section one, as well as section two. So let's use these for an example. What you want to do is click on these three dots on the first question, then click on go to section based on answer. Let's use the correct answer for this example. Click on the drop down, then select go to section two. So based on this example, if the respondent selects the correct answer, they will be taken to section two. Let's move on to tip number six, which is use scripting. You can modify your Google Forms using scripts. You can find scripts on the internet, or maybe if you can code, you can write your own scripts. To do this, you need to click on these three dots at the top of the page, then click on script editor. So here is the script editor. And once again, you can either write your own code or paste in code that you found on the internet. Tip number seven is adding collaborators. You can give multiple users access to your Google Forms if you want to work as a team. Just go to the options menu, click on add collaborators, and now you'll be able to grant access to users. Here you can add people and groups. At the bottom, you can view people that already have access. You can also click on this drop down menu, select anyone with link, and this will grant access to anyone who uses the provided link. Tip number eight is embed iframe to use as a contact form. So as an example, we are going to be embedding this contact form into a website. So first I'll click on send, then I'll click on the embed icon, and I'll copy this HTML code, click to highlight, then copy, go to the website, and I'll paste it in an HTML block. Okay, and now I'm going to preview this in a new tab. So here's the contact form. And this is just a quick contact form template from the gallery, but you can always create your own custom form. Tip number nine is pre-filled form links. This feature lets you send a pre-filled form to a respondent. To use this feature, open the options menu, then click get pre-filled link. So now you can scroll down to fill out your form. So as an example, we'll just provide answers for some of these questions. Once you're done providing the answers, just click on the get link button. And you can now send this link to your respondents. The 10th and final tip is using Google add-ons. So if you really want to enhance your Google forms, 
I recommend checking out the Google Workspace Marketplace where you can find a number of powerful add-ons. So here you'll see that there are a number of different add-ons that you can install depending on what you're trying to achieve. So now I'm going to show you one of my favorite add-ons, which is extended forms. So I'm just going to type in extended forms in the search bar is this one. And I'll click on the first result, click on install, continue, select an account, allow next and done. So now I have installed extended forms. I'll just click on this X at the top of the page. And let's click on this icon, then click extended forms, click configure. And now we can go ahead and turn it on. So extended forms is the best timer for Google forms. With one click, you can turn a basic Google form into a timed test or quiz. It also comes with a number of powerful features like custom branding and team management. Extended forms also has an intuitive dashboard that lets you manage every aspect of the app. That includes responses, forms, teams, brand, and invitations. You can go ahead and check out extended forms using the link on screen or in the description. Thank you so much for watching.